Hi everyone, I'm the first Michael presenting here today and I'm going to talk to you about uh, some new exciting features that Microsoft uh, released to their Outlook web add-in API last week at Microsoft Ignite and we've actually already implemented those features to our uh, signatures Outlook web add-in. For those of you who don't know Code2, we are just as David said, Microsoft partner. We are an independent software vendor from Poland, Europe, and for over 14 years we've been developing software solutions for Microsoft 365, Exchange, formerly also for Outlook. And uh, what we do is uh, we help organization administrators uh, manage centrally manage email signatures, legal disclaimers, and branding. Uh, we help them with data migration to the Microsoft Cloud and with Cloud Backup. And currently, more than 100,000 companies uh, worldwide use our software, including uh, Facebook or Samsung. And today I'm going to talk about our flagship product, which is Code to Email Signatures for Office 365. And it's uh, it's basically an email signature manager, uh, which allows an organization like one person, an admin or delegated people like uh, marketing guys to centrally manage email signatures, legal disclaimers, uh, marketing campaigns and automate them in a few clicks. And a key feature of this solution is that, is that it supports all email apps and devices. And it's because it can work in two modes. Uh, one mode is you get the signature as you type an email in Outlook and Outlook on the web. And the second mode uh, adds signatures in the cloud. So for those of you who are not familiar with uh, email signature software principles, uh, let me summarize how it works. So that the first mode, the cloud mode, it works like this. Uh, when a user sends an email from any email app or device, as long as it's hooked up to their uh, Microsoft 365 email account. This email goes through a Microsoft 365 tenant. That's how it works normally. But what we do here is we have a cloud service in the same Microsoft Azure data center as the customer tenant, uh, tenant to ensure full security so that your data never leaves Microsoft data center. And we add the signature uh, using our service and then the email with a signature is delivered to recipients. So when a user types their email, they, they do not get the signature. It's added in the cloud later on. And the second, like more traditional mode is that uh, you get signatures directly in Outlook as you type. And it uses uh, modern signatures web add-in for Outlook. So uh, the add-in adds your signature, then the email goes through your Microsoft 365 tenant and then uh, to recipients, so it's like a traditional way. And uh, actually, uh, with some of the news uh, Microsoft released uh, last week at their uh, Outlook Web Add-in API, they changed a lot for us, uh, for the signature vendors. And uh, so we're focused on uh, our signatures Web Add-in for Outlook, which can actually, thanks to those uh, recent events uh, that Microsoft introduced, it can handle both of these modes, so both Outlook modes uh, and the cloud mode. And we've been working closely with Microsoft to uh, first release this uh, Outlook modern web add-in uh, last year at Microsoft Ignite. Uh, we were proud to be the world's first uh, signature vendor to, to release the add-in that supports both Outlook desktop and Outlook on the web. But well, let's see it in action. So first of all, let me show you how the signature management interface looks like. So if you are an uh, admin or a person responsible to manage signatures in your organizations, you can use the simple web user interface to manage your signatures or actually signature rules because they include several different conditions uh, that help you automate how signatures are added. So we've got a uh, both cloud or server side, uh, that's the former name, signatures here, and also client side signatures, which will be added directly uh, in Outlook. Let's start with uh, those Outlook signatures. So we've prepared uh, a sample uh, Microsoft 365 tenants. Uh, it's got uh, free signatures, free client side signatures, an internal uh, for internal users, an external and an optional. 
uh, let's see how the signature is created or is added. So it's got, you can create, uh, you, can, you need to give a name to your signature, that's kind of obvious, and you can specify senders who will get the signatures. Of course, these need to be the users who have the modern Outlook web admin deployed. Well, actually, uh, what Microsoft gave us here with their modern web Outlook web admin technology is the deployment is much easier than before because uh, an admin can deploy the admin uh, for the whole organization and users do not need to install anything. It just uh, automatically appears in their Outlook account. So we can select senders who will get uh, this signature. You can select all senders like specific users uh, or use even an advanced uh, Azure Active Directory filter to add signatures, for example, only to your managers. And the new thing here that Microsoft new event released last week, uh, which is called on message recipients change event, uh, helps us also automatically automatically change and add uh, email signatures based on recipients. So we can define those recipients as internal recipients, external recipients, any recipient. We can even provide specific email addresses and the add-in will automatically uh, detect those. We can schedule uh, if signature should be active all the time or for specific time frames only. We can also uh, set up signature behavior uh, with Outlook if it should be added automatically as default for new messages, replies and forwards. And finally, uh, the signature needs to be designed using a simple what you see is what you get editor. Uh, what might be interesting for you is that the Signature template is actually composed of uh, placeholders, and these placeholders which will be automatically replaced with uh, sender's details like first name, last name, job title, etc. Uh, when the signature is added to Outlook. Okay, so what we have here is we have uh, three signatures: a simple internal signature for internal emails, uh, an external signature with like more contact details, with a legal disclaimers, and an optional signature. So let's see how it works in Outlook with our modern web Outlook uh, add-in installed. So when the user creates a new email, boom, their signature automatically appears. So what happened here is that an on new message compose event uh, released last year by Microsoft in their Outlook web add-in uh, API was triggered and it added a signature. And what's new here is this new event uh, released last week, and it's called on message recipients change event. And it works like this, that it reacts to the email recipients you type here. Since we added an internal recipient, Adele is also from my organization, the event was triggered, but nothing changed here, right? But when I type, let's say ex an external user, the second signature, let me show you once more here. So the external signature, the one with more details, was automatically added here to my email. And uh, if a user wants to preview signatures available to them, they can just simply launch the, uh, the add-in pane to see these are the signatures based on the recipients you currently uh, selected in your message. So the external signature, which was automatically selected and added to email, and an optional signature, which was set up by your admin. You can also just use this signature instead. So as you can see, it's pretty responsive and dynamic. So this is basically how, how these uh, Outlook signatures work. What might be a disadvantage for some organizations is that you can tamper with your signatures. So a user can delete some elements and send an email without their photo, for example. That's why a lot of organizations prefer those cloud signatures. And we also want to show you uh, that this modern uh, Outlook web adding can also support uh, these cloud signatures. So we prepared uh, an external signature template for another user and see how it uh, let's see how it works like that's another uh, microsoft 365 user in the same organization so let's say christy prepares a new email and she selects any recipients hmm nothing changes here why is that because uh, this is the 
cloud signature mode. So uh, Christie's signature will be actually added in the cloud. With the modern Outlook web add-in, we can preview the cloud signatures actually by opening the uh, code signatures pane. So let's add an external another external user here oh, from Poland. So uh, Christy can preview server side or cloud signatures. So they will be added later to their email. Uh, these signatures will also be added if Christy uses uh, another device like uh, her smartphone because this mode adds signatures in the cloud, so all devices are supported. Uh, what's uh, also pretty interesting that this feature, this, this mode, uh, if you use code to software, also get a nice feature that allows recipients to get different signatures. So when this email is sent, Megan will see this signature and another external user will get and see this signature in the same message. Pretty neat, right? Okay. Uh, so that's basically uh, how these two modes are handled uh, using the new events. Uh, basically, the on-message recipients change event released by Microsoft. And uh, just so you don't get bored and can try uh, it yourself, we prepared a simple, simple add-in sample, like an example add-in that adds signatures. So we'll provide a link to, to our GitHub account uh, in the chat window uh, in a moment after the meeting. And so let me explain how this works. So the code you can check later on. It's pretty simple. It's just 56 lines of code. And we prepared the sample in such a way that uh, we've got two elements here, a signature and a disclaimer. These are uh, static elements and the disclaimer, so they do not change dynamically or anything like this, it's just a, a sample signature we got here. And uh, the add-in can actually, or the sample add-in uh, we prepared can actually uh, load those signatures uh, into Outlook's uh, session data object. That's also actually a new thing here because Microsoft's Outlook adding team released uh, this session data object also a week ago uh, at Microsoft Ignite. Okay, so let's check yet another user has got this simple sample code adding deployed. So when you select uh, an internal recipient, uh, once again, the on message recipient change event is called and uh, it adds the signature. But when you type an external user, the event once again is triggered and it adds the disclaimer. So it's a pretty simple sample, <laughs> but you can check uh, how this event-based activation and how these new events released by uh, Microsoft uh, work yourself. So that will be all on my part. If you want to contact me directly, just go ahead and we encourage you to check our products. And if you've got any questions, uh, just type them in the chat window. We've got a few developers here with us who will be able to answer like more technical questions because I'm the marketing manager here. Okay, thanks a lot for listening, guys. Uh, over to you, David. All right, thank you, Michael. That is very cool to see. It's very interesting to see uh, or how you can coordinate uh, between like what the admin wants to control and users being able to see and have some flexibility depending on how everything's set up. It's uh, pretty neat to see how that's managed. And thanks for sharing the code sample. I think that'll be super useful to people who want to try it out and kind of see how that works. I'll also add, you know, in our blog summary that comes out in a couple of weeks, we'll we'll put in some more links to related information around all of that. So you can kind of go dig around through documentation or related samples as well if you want to. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.